Your own double dam is one of the most celebrated equestrian athletes of all time. In 2014, he became the FEI World Individual and Team Champion, and within 12 months, he had added the FEI Jumping Nations Cup title and two European gold medals to his collection, all with his horse, Zenith. Earlier this year, the decision was made to retire his winning ride from competitive sport. Zenith now enjoys the comforts of your own's yard, styled a sheem in the Netherlands, but his legacy will certainly live on. Yeah, Zenith has been always a special horse, although uh, in the beginning it wasn't easy with him. He was a very sensitive horse, uh, a lot of blood. Uh, he was always too sharp. Uh, we, we like when the horses are sharp, but he was too sharp. What worked against me in the beginning worked with me in, in, in his best times. He was a horse really sharp with all the scope in the world. Brave as hell. He was like, he was, the horse has so much courage that, uh, you know, there was not one track in the world was too big for him. He was, you could, you could build a castle and he would jump it. And uh, yeah, then when all the pieces came together, then also the, the, yeah, the big results came. In 2014, the pairing became the FEI World Individual and Team Champions at the World Equestrian Games in Normandy. I didn't come there as a favourite. I came there uh, in underdog position. Uh, this was my first year with Zenit on that level. And uh, so there was no expectations. Then once we were there and I felt this form also again with, with, by Zenit, I thought, well, you know, there's much more in this whole week than only try to win a, a team medal. Uh, and that, that was also what I felt there from day one. And then, uh, yeah, it was fantastic. And, you know, everything went the way I want. Less than a year later, two other major medals were added to the combination's prize collection. 2015 European Championships in Aachen were, uh, of course, you know, when something is held in Aachen, it's already special. And we went into these championships as some kind of the favorite. He jumped, you know, five, five courses. He didn't touch a fence. I had the feeling I could even jump three more days and still have no fault. You know, he was, uh, he gave me so much confidence. For me, it was a fantastic experience and that was the best of Zinnik. The pairing also played a huge part in the success of the Dutch team, and Jeroen shared some historic moments with his compatriots. We have already this team feeling, and we have an unbelievable team, team spirit. And then when you put that orange jacket on, it makes it even stronger. Somehow, it maybe sounds funny, and it maybe even looks funny, I don't know. But the minute you put that orange jacket on, there's some spirit comes into you, and then uh, it makes that feeling even stronger. It's easy to remember your own most recent success with Zenith, but both the medal collection and horses who still reside at the Dutchman's Yard represent a glittering career that dates back much further. Of course, I've, I've been lucky to have a few uh, very good horses. Uh, it started, of course, all with Dushim, uh, who, won, who I won with the 2000 Olympics with and, and the Grand Prix of Aachen. Uh, I even meant, named my stable uh, Stal Dushim because, you know, this horse meant so much to me. He put me on the map and uh, there will come a day that he's not among us anymore and then his name will still be there. And then Up and Down came, who gave me an, uh, a gold medal in 2006 and, and, and in 2007 with the team, World Championships and European Championships, so very special horse to me. And then after Up and Down, I had uh, maybe, I didn't win a medal on this horse, Simon was his name, uh, who later was with BZ Madden. Unfortunately, I could only ride him for two years. But he was a fantastic horse and I won a lot of classes with him in World Cups and he was third in the World Cup final in Leipzig with me. And although I say maybe Simon was my most talented horse, for sure Zenit, if you look at the medals, was my most successful horse. Currently the former world champion doesn't have a horse to ride at the top level, but his schedule remains busy by training others on the circuit. 
if you ask me 10 years ago, would you, would you have students? I would uh, for sure say no, I want to write myself. And, uh, but, but now I like doing it and uh, I, I still write myself also, of course, because I, I think it's important because then you still know how difficult it is and, and what, where still are the problems. Uh, because if you don't write at all anymore, I think you get a little bit blind for those. Yeah, and who knows, if, the, if the really the right horse comes on my path again, then, uh, then I give it a go again.